Hi, I'm Lisa and I'm going to talk to you today about using SLP Toolkit's companion app, the Image Viewer. This is a great tool to have in your toolbox when you are administering tests to students that include images. So when I'm working with a student in the Students tab, any test, whether they be a present level assessment or progress monitoring test that has images, will have them populate in the test itself. So let me go ahead and open a test. We'll do the first and second grade present level assessment as a new test. So there will be some subtests that don't have pictures, but like something like the synonyms, but something like picture description task. You can always click to expand for your students to see that picture, but then you can't take notes at the same time. So that can be very difficult. So instead of having to do that as you're going through each test, expand and collapse, you can log in to app dot slptoolkit.com forward slash viewer and that will bring you to our companion image viewer page and you're going to log in using the same credentials you use to log into the SLP Toolkit app. Once you sign in you will see a list of any tests that you have assigned to any student on your caseload in alphabetical order. It starts with symbols first followed by numbers followed by the alphabet. If there's a test you recently added and can't find it, hit the refresh button and you'll see that then populated there. But now I can administer that first and second grade present level assessment, taking notes and scoring within the app while the student is looking at the images only. So to toggle to the next image, you just go through picture by picture, and that is all the student will see as you take notes. We understand that not everyone has access to a separate iPad or a laptop. However, this can really be used with any web enabled device. Sarah and I find that our students really love using our smartphones. So we might use our primary device to actually administer the test here and sign into the image viewer on our smartphones. It's a great size for small hands. They like having something in their hands as they're taking the test, but you can also use an iPad. You can use a laptop, really anything that is web enabled. If you have any questions about the image viewer or any other features within SLP Toolkit, don't hesitate to reach out at hello at slptoolkit.com.